iconic yellow background to film this super awesome lookbook. For today's video, I'll be showing you guys some of my favorite monochromatic looks. Or should I say, monochromatica. I make some of my custom made pieces, random clothing items I bought from thrift stores, and some familiar brands. Before we start this lookbook, please click the subscribe button below. Without further ado, let's see the first look. Red, the color of extremes. You see stop signs in red, you see McDonald's logo, KFC, Pizza Hut, etc. all in red. Why? Because it catches your attention. For this first look, I am wearing red, red, red from head to toe. I actually wore this whole outfit to see Gaga in Vegas. I never thought that I would be into red until I decided to give it a try and you should give it a try too. If you are wearing all red like me, just be prepared for everyone to look at you because you will look like a walking bottle of ketchup. The blazer and pants are from the Kupos, the turtleneck and the shoes are from Calvin Klein. Blue, the color of loyalty. We see blue every day without noticing the color. I'm wearing electric blue. This outfit is also a turning heads kind of outfit. The color is very strong and very striking. If I was given a chance to go to prom again, I would definitely wear this whole outfit. It's a little formal, but fun for me to dance and party in. I'm wearing my custom-made set along with this vintage blazer I found in the Goodwill store. For shoes, I'm wearing these black square toe boots from Zara. Baby blue. There's blue and there's baby blue. Baby blue is fresh. The color has no gender or sexuality, but people tend to use this to label newborn mouths. I am no newborn and I'm no straight now, but I will rock this color anyways. This color is more calm comparing to my electric blue outfit. I am wearing this button-up shirt along with this house hoop sweater vest. A little pattern doesn't hurt anyone, right? Next, I'm pairing this whole outfit with my baby blue trousers. And to finish the outfit, I'm wearing these Doc Martin sandals in white. This outfit is definitely my favorite outfit. It's super cute, fresh, and bright. I would love to wear this to go on a picnic date. Brown, the color of shrink, or should I say the color of shit. You often color the ground with brown. It's a very earthy color, often seen as solid. According to VeryWellMind.com, brown can create feelings of loneliness, sadness, and isolation. So here I am spreading all sorts of feelings through this outfit. Amazing. This outfit is very stylish, fashionable, and professional looking. I am wearing this blazer and button up that I thrifted. For pants, I'm wearing these wide cut trousers from Zara. Super comfortable, and I love the stripe details on both sides of the pants. And for shoes, I am wearing these black and white boots from Zara as well. To make the outfit a little bit more interesting, I'm wearing this beret hat from ASOS. Salmon pink. This pink smells like salmon. The color is charming. 
it's really hard to style the salmon pink color so why not wear a whole fucking outfit in salmon pink I'm wearing this salmon pink matching set with the salmon pink jacket from mink pink that's a lot of ink for shoes I'm wearing these studded loafers from red valentino is it me or it smells fishy in here uh, wait it's just me i love this outfit even though the color is very bright and loud but it's somehow very very suiting to me what do you guys think Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel, give this video a like, follow me on Instagram for more looks. You can follow me at berry.snatch. Other than that, leave a comment below, let me know which outfit is your most favorite outfit or which color is your most favorite color. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Why did I, why did I do this?